I'm not one. I'm not Muslim. I'm not a terrorist. My name's Soraya. It's Arabic, or I guess it's technically Persian, yeah. The Moors controlled Spain for over 700 years. There's no way nothing was going to rub off. So my name is Arabic, Persian, whatever. And it's also Spanish, but I'm not. Arabic, or Persian, or Spanish. Maybe 700 years from now, a great, 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 great grandchild of yours will be named Mohammed Johansson, and he'll be like other bastards of conquest. Mixed. You know, you guys, the CIA, I mean, you guys watched my grandfather for many years because he was Dominican, and Trujillo told you he was a communist. Trujillo, the dictator in the Dominican Republic for 31 years. So I don't take this lightly, but um, I feel kind of honored that you've deemed me, as you did my grandfather, necessary of vigilance. Or it's a complete farce, because if he wasn't a communist, and I'm not a terrorist, but you know, I'd like to think he's up there proud of me. I have traveled to China, Vietnam, and Cuba, and I really thought that if the CIA was ever to come to my door to question me, it would have been after that little tour. I thought, I thought, I believed in freedom of speech. I thought, yeah, McCarthyism happened, but that was a frenzy. And I thought, yeah, maybe the CIA keeps dusty tabs of the legacy of my grandfather, just in case, you know, his granddaughter visits a bunch of communist countries. Maybe they tell her to cool her jets. But I really didn't expect you to come to my door the day after my only brother's first child was born to ask about some posts in my blog and to see if I'm going to start executing mass bombings for Puerto Rican independence or harbor Middle Eastern terrorists. I really didn't expect that. Freedom of speech, man, that was on my list of reasons I'm glad my parents decided to raise me here after years of asking them why they would. But then you know what? I think about my dreams of becoming the first female president. I learned in high school that because I was born in a territory, a colony, I can never run for president. And man, because I have been thinking after Obama, like I would just get in there and pop, 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 make changes in another first hundred days and, you know, base our economy on renewable energy instead of war and oil. That's all. Oh, I just happen to be a woman. I'm kind of kidding, but I'm kind of not. Oh, and I would make people say United States, Ian. The Americas are two continents. So um, I can never be president of the United States anyway. Do you know what I am exactly? I have statutory citizenship. It means I get to be a citizen as long as Congress grants it. And I don't feel like a second class citizen, but that's exactly what concerns me. You know, it's normal to me. That's why I admire people who stand up to the US. No, I, I think terrorism exists, but I think that that word is thrown around and used wrongly. I am a fucking patriot. Did you know that I cry when I think about the Constitution? Did you know that? Do you fucking cry when you think about the Constitution? When I think about Ben Franklin and George Washington, but most of all, Alexander Hamilton, because he was from St. Kitts, a British colony, and he could have become president had he not jeweled. And, <laughs> and what that room must have felt like when they were making a country, a whole new system. And I can't deny that, you know what, if Puerto Rico declared independence and there was a war, then maybe I would go to fight and say, fuck my U.S. citizenship, my statutory U.S. citizenship, even though so many people around the world would die to have it. Maybe I can sell it at a discount because it's statutory. And maybe the grief and rage I've had passed down is what makes me look at a terrorist, a terrorist, and wonder, and just try to understand. And then sometimes I think, oh, I should start a revolution. How the hell one does that? Because what we do, it's not okay. And then I think, how silly, Soraya, because starting a revolution would mean killing people. And how is it different if you kill and I kill? But then there's a part of me that knows that, yes, it is different. 
It's just it could become the same, but it's different. And the constant question of whether the real revolution is to forgive. But not only to forgive, to find the freedom of mind to thrive. But then other times I really think that some people just need to be executed. They just need to be lined up and shot by firing squad. Like a clean slate. Fusilados. It's much more concise in Spanish. Seems like either way the goal would be the same, so there you go.